Hey, I'm Peter France, and welcome back to more Skyrim, The Rise of Elderast. Now, last time we left off, uh, Elderast was ready to go and seek out his destiny as the newly discovered Chosen One, known as the Dragonborn, who has the ability to shout with his voice and make awesome mystical things happen. Uh, he has spent a little bit of time doing some other things, doing a little bit of uh, mercenary work, solo mercenary work, of course, as is his preference, uh, and building up some resources. He's got a little, uh, a little home in uh, the, whatever that main town is. I can't remember the first city that you start out on. He's, uh, he's got a little, little place there to call his own, but it's pretty rudimentary right now, and so he is eager to get back out there, discover his destiny, earn more coin, so he can build a proper lab. So that's where we find ourselves, and I just uh, fast-traveled to the nearest discovered location toward my goal of meeting with the Greybeard. So here we go. Oh, I'm not much of a swimmer. I jump! <sighs> that ain't good. All right. Now can we, uh, we make it up here? Just a... Uh, Come on now. I mean, this wasn't such a good idea. Just jump and, uh... Well, I uh, seem to have... gotten myself into a bit of a predicament. But perhaps I can jump! Jump! Oh, almost! Almost there we are! Ha ha ha! You thought I would fall into the water, didn't you? Not Elderast. Ha 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 ha! Onward toward our goal. What? <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Trying to pick flowers. <laughs> Must always uh, pick the flowers along the way. Harvest our resources for the arcane potions we will later concoct. I see. I was. I was. Said we can't quite make that out. Rift in solitude. I, I'm going to go this way. I believe that's uh, where I need to go. In fact, let me just double check. Yes, look at that. Iverstead. Iverstead. So, this very road will take me to my destination. Onward. I will hasten my conquering of this realm by any means necessary, and none will stop me. Well, uh, perhaps uh, being winded now and then might slow things just a bit, but other than that, ha ha ha! Have we here a tempting target, but must stay focused? <laughs> All this realm will be mine. <laughs> Let's see. Is this the path I seek? I hear some sort of beast. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You must burn. Ha 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 ha. I have uh, grown in my powers. In particular, my powers of burning. Let's see. I, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, whether or not I'm on the fastest road, the shortest path to my destination. This uh, does not seem a path very well traveled, which weakens my confidence in it. Let's see. Oh, we still got a ways to go. Good gravy. Very well then. It is only fitting 
that a path less traveled is the one I am destined to roam upon. But, uh, well, this does seem a bit prohibitive, I must admit. Perhaps I could, uh, just momentarily go for a swim and, uh, exit on the other side of the river. See, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was further than I... All right. Just remember your childhood lessons. Stroke, stroke. Wait, I might have gone a little bit too far. Um, upstream. Ooh. Oh, blast it off. I was going the right way. Don't second guess yourself, Elder Ast. Good heavens. Listen to me talk good heavens as if there are any good heavens in all existence. If the heavens exist and the gods populate them, they are far from good to me. Dark water crossing. Doesn't seem to be hostile. Very well, you shall live for now. I suspect these people have their own petty lives with their petty stories they wish to tell me and seek my aid in. But not this one. Who are you? Never should have come. Ah! Wait. You're not attacking me? Who are you? Do we have a common enemy? Can't hide from me. Who are you looking at, woman? This is very curious. Guess it's all clear now. I guess so. Except from me! <laughs> now, what will we find among your possessions? Uh, uh, now. Now, uh, uh, perhaps I'll have a little drink right now. Mm, not feeling hungry. Elk hide. Hmm, no. Nah. Goat hide? No. Gold, yes, very good. Very good. Uh, hmm. Leg of goat. A lockpick, yes, that I will have use for that. And nothing else. Well, perhaps the hide armor continues to be a lucrative part of my profession as a mercenary. You might be under the impression that most mercenaries are cell swords and other mindless thuds. But there are a few of us. Namely me, who are among those given to the wizarding profession. But I am not hungry at the moment. Hmm. Perhaps I could one day erect a palace, better yet a temple for myself in this region. It seems suiting to my aesthetic preferences. And who are you? Dare you draw your weapon against me? Unless you come to pay a ransom, turn around and walk away. I pay nothing. <laughs> Let's see what you will now pay me, other than your life. <laughs> Barely worth my time. Ah, 
This is involving a bit more legwork than I had bargained for. I must remember to acquire a steed of some kind. Cute little woodland creature, you have no place in my realm! Yes, uh, very good. Uh, walking, 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 endless walking. I should hope that these gray beards have something worth learning. What? Went to my here. Wait for. Wait. Yeah, Ivar Stead. Very good. Yes. We continue on the right track. More cute and cuddly creatures. Yes, a comment. No, I did not think so. Mm, yes, very good. I much prefer to dwell in the darkness of night. An agent of black shadow. Who still likes picking the odd flower? Oh, this walking again. I must say, yes, all right. I shall not make this journey twice. And my patience grows thin. Yes, come, test yourself against me. You shall fail. Oh, must sample this. Very good. Ah, yes, this pelt will draw some coin on the market. Oops, wrong button again. Oops, wrong button again. I'm not playing Diablo, Pater. <laughs> I'm looking for my healing potions. Oh, got a wolf here. We'll take care of that in just a moment. There we go. Yes, call your comrades. They will all perish. <laughs> Simple wolves represent no threat to Elderast. <laughs> By the way, guys, I um, tried to work out the kinks of the problems that my software was happening, having the last couple times. It was an issue I didn't start noticing until after I had upgraded my hard drive, and it took me a while to notice it because I wasn't necessarily doing a lot of uh, recording and streaming and stuff. So it took me a while to really notice that it was definitely a thing that was happening, but like some stuttering and stuff in my recording. Um, it's either the result of getting a new hard drive or upgrading my forced upgrade to Windows 10. Much like Elderast, I am a bit of a Luddite. Upgrades. Why should I learn anything more about this foolish technology? Has no stability. Changes. Year to year, month to month, sometimes seemingly day to day. Would you like to update? No! Who knows what more problems such an update will introduce, as it usually seems to do. But, uh, I've been working through those issues, and so I won't know until after I'm done with this recording. Um, but if you guys see stuttering and stuff, know that I see it too, and we'll continue working on it. And hopefully, we won't really see any of that going on. Meh. 
Now someone travels this road. Spending all this time paving it. Okay, still on track. Does Elderass say okay? I, I just let out an okay as Elderass. I don't think that really works. <laughs> this is tricky stuff. I mean, of, of the various characters I've kind of come up with, Elderast is one that I've gotten to know more than others, just because mentally I like this arch archetype. Um, and so mentally, uh, Elderast has been brewing and stewing in my mind for years. But still a tricky thing to just kind of off the cuff decide, what would he say? To this fellow. All right, hand over your valuable, <laughs> or I'll back you like fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see, what are my options here? <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't have time for this, so... Don't you walk away from me. <laughs> no, I won't. Never <laughs> <laughs> Bang! I must confess, he still took a little longer to fall than I would have liked. Even having grown in my powers of flame destruction. Oh yes, this will be useful. And some lockpicks. Studded armor. Hide boots. Torturer's hood. Yes, these will all be worth their weight for the time being. At least the minimum requirements I have for such things. Is someone following me? That might have been my own footsteps. Very good. A campfire. Should I see who has settled over here? Anyone? Hmm. They cannot have gone far. Well... Somehow I think this will take me off of my desired path, however. I must confess I am burning with curiosity. I'll just take a quick look. Go to the island near the edge of the lake. Look for where a great tree once stood. That is where I buried it. Island near the edge of the lake. Where a great tree. So a large stump on an island near the edge of the lake. Hmm. Well, I've broken the seal. I might as well take it. What lake? Could you mean this lake? This tree? Could a treasure of some kind really be so close at hand? I, 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 I must divert from my intended path. What? I hear voices. There is someone out there. Someone seeking to claim the treasure. It is clearly mine. The end for you. <laughs> now, what did you have on your person? No, 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 nothing of value. No wonder you are hunting for treasure. Well, you were too slow. The treasure will be mine. Buried, buried near this tree, I suspect. Wait! I believe I saw something on the way in. Yes, right here. This must be it. There's a shovel next to it. Didn't do a very good job of burying it. Gold 20, yes. Ah! 
ha, excellent! Five hundred and eighty coins in value. Quite worth the diversion, I believe. Mm, no, not feeling hungry again yet. Now then. Nothing here of value, we must be sure. Well, this coin purse, I'm sure. Yes, very good. Yes, very much worth my time. Onward. Oh! Hark! I hear a distinct sound. The sound of Nernroot. A very rare and valuable alchemical component. <laughs> and only one such as myself will truly know the best use to which it should be put. <sighs> more wolves, more walking. Oh, look at this creature. Well, let's see who wins this battle. Me, as usual. Ha 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 ha! Good. Ah, you wish to join? Join in death. Boy, I certainly hope that these greybeards are interested in buying some wolf pelts. Moon sugar. Yes, very good, very good. Skooma, this has some value if you know the right person. Sleeping tree sap. This. Somewhat unusual, but very useful. Unlike the rest of his possessions. On we go. I must, uh, confirm. Ivar Stead. Ah, Riften. I do not wish to go to Riften. It was nearly taken off course. Oh, what a mountain flower. Yes, I'm not sure what my supply in my den looks like. I was said, yes, very good. <sighs> I am ready for this journey to be over. Who might this be? I told you, it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well-connected merchant with the East Empire Company. The Emperor's cousin, remember? Hopefully these gifts will put us in her good graces, secure that import deal, and lead the way to an audience with the Emperor. Hello? Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Vittoria's wedding. I am no peasant. I am Elderast, and your possessions are mine. What? No! God help! Thought I heard something. What have we here? An ever greater creatures that the gods wish to send against me? They will all fall. Now what of you, woman? You too must die! For your association with one who would treat me thusly.
Oh, yes. Fine clothes are suiting for one such as I. And uh, shoes, yes, very good. Oh, copper and sapphire circlet. Copper and rubies. Yes, these were the gifts you were going to give to so-and-so fancy pants. Well, now, I have your fancy pants. <laughs> yes, very good. Very good, useful, yes. Cyrodiilic brandy. Eh. Not to my liking, but does have worthwhile value along with these jewels. Fine clothes, fine boots. Ha ha ha. Now I seem to recall there was a bodyguard walking not far from you, but I can't help but notice he did not enter the conflict. <laughs> Hope you didn't pay him very much. <laughs> Now on to Iverstead. Could this be Iverstead? Lying just before me. Hmm. Oh. Ah, oh, <laughs> yes, my blue butterfly wing. I think I will take a moment and reflect upon my life. Yeah, that's good. You creature! Someone must have told him I was coming. Hmm. <laughs> what? What strange magic allows him to traverse the water in that way? You, tell me the secrets of that creature, for surely you know! I will seek the answers in your entrails. Oh, or perhaps in a taste of your antlers. Hmm, I find no answers here. Well, let's see if you are more polite than the others I've met today. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. How could mere men bring down such a beast? I am no mere man. If those white run guards can take down a dragon, so can... Ah, uh, better think again. I took down that dragon, despite their help. I believe I am closing in on my destination. No one stole my sweet roll. I have all the sweet rolls I ever wish to have. These damn bears are driving me crazy. I have no need to talk to you or anyone else but the gray beards. steps again, not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. Mm. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery of... Uh, one at a time, please. Now, what can you tell me about this High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Hmm. 
Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. What types of possessions were you planning to take to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. Hmm. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Wonderful. And in return, they would give you what? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Hmm. Well, I can't help fools with stupid errands. Maybe I'll hold off and go another day. Get some rest first. Yes, yes, you do that. Goodbye. Well, time to gather more supplies. Wait guess. a moment. On second thought... 7,000 steps at deep. Mostly foods. The Greybeards tend not to get out much. Well, it's kind of trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be. You know what? I think perhaps... Yes, 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 I heard this already. I, I think perhaps I could do this errand for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Yes, very. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Yes, I will... I will give these things. To someone else, <laughs> most assuredly. <laughs> now, you mentioned some danger on this climb. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your foot. The likes? In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. The likes of me, there are none. Like Elderest. Be careful. Yes, okay. yes, goodbye. Yeah, let's see here, uh, what have we here? Uh, read etched tablet. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Oh, yes. Such power is appropriate for me. And so our climb begins. After an inordinate amount of walking already. Yes, very good. Still not feeling burdened. I make only the most economical of choices in what I carry on my person. You shall be allowed to live for now, creatures. I grow impatient. Who is this? I don't wish to alarm him at first glance. Barknar, is it? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit these gray beards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. <clears throat> Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovahkiin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Means that one such as I have arrived. Aye. And your time is over! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Yes, my power grows. And now for a look at your possessions. An arrow of gold, yeah. Yeah. Hide armor, yes. Hmm. Barely worth the effort. This realm, all this realm will be mine, and the gray beards will be the first key to my rule. Ah, a slightly more rarefied creature, the Ice Wolf, but he falls like the others. Snowberries, yes. The climate is changing, and yet I push onward. Die! <laughs> I may have to uh, require these gray beards to pay me for some wolf pelts upon my arrival. There we are. Some of these steps are a little bit tricky. Wait a minute, I forgot to read the etching on the... Oh. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Well, that's no great feat to kill a man. The elements begin to gather and conspire against me. But they shall serve as no obstacle against me. <sighs> oh, these steps, though, continue to be a bit tiresome. Ah, downward trajectory, a nice reprieve. More snowberries, quite delightful. Hey. All right, I have had just about enough of all this walking. You, make this worthwhile. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to Hyra. Yes, I've heard this already. Did you hear the Greybeard's call Dovaki? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Are you hiding something? What are you doing? Walking the steps. Meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Oh, do you now? Well, this one was your last. Hmm, <laughs> let's see here. Five songs of King Wolfhearth. Let's take a little look. First song, the first song of King... This is not useful to me. I learn no skills from this. However, it does have some value on the market for fools who wish to waste their time reading about people other than me. The Octuan Heresy. No, oh, no value. The Ring of Minor Wielding. Hmm. Well. No direct value to me, but uh, some value in coin. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Time between shouts is reduced. This may become valuable to me once I have unlocked the secrets of the Greybeards.
the wind blows bitter daggers on my skin and I sense it wishes to stop me the gods wish to hinder my arrival to the gray beards but they offer no opposition to me yes bring your creatures Bring your worst. <laughs> A somewhat formidable creature will undoubtedly have some uh, components that are useful to me. Yes, very good. Now, what do you reveal, Tablet? Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were many-fold. Hmm. So man learned the secrets of shouting the great dragon, is it, Alduin? I do not recall. Out of the world. Yes, I must learn this discipline. The secrets of the voice. Or is it the shout? I can't remember. <laughs> I might be confusing uh, myself with the... Uh, a planet called Arrakis that I once traveled. Oh. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice. Oh yes, voice, it is an appropriate term. Whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Yes, I will learn such powers to bring about my rule in this world before I destroy it and depart to confront the gods themselves for their treachery against me. All right, I've been walking in the snow and ruminating for quite a while. I am now ready for my story to advance. Look, I cannot even gaze upon the world which I will conquer. This elevation is entirely in... What? Yes. Yes, I do believe I am arriving. One more etching. For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name, Tiber Septim. Stripling then was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovakin. Hmm. What then shall they name one who is greater than he? We shall soon discover, no doubt. Oh, yes, this is the uh, place for offering gifts or some such. Let me see if I still have those items. Climax supplies. Ugh, blast it all. They have no value to me. No value on the market. No value to my belly. Only the value of graces that it may earn me with these foolish gray beards. So very well. Into the chest it will go. Perhaps Klimek will offer me some compensation. Well, the gray beards clearly don't need these items. Nightshade. Yes. Very good. 
And now, Greybeards, open your secrets to me. <sighs> Mustn't get off on the wrong foot. Unless the wrong foot becomes required. Hmm. I will quickly contemplate my life before this conversation. <laughs> so, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I am the dragonborn. So, what does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. You mean... This voice! <laughs> Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Thank you. Show me the throne. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. <laughs> you must be mistaken. I am... Uh, I'm not the only Dragonborn. I, I, I... You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Well, it is you in confidence mine to know. Revealed thus far, that is all I can say. Who are you and what is the nature of this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the way of the voice. You stand in high Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Sacred? Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Well then, I am ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. Yes, I do. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Yes! Uh, that remains to be seen. Then I will show you! Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. I am. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Yes. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Interesting. Ah, yes. You learn a new word like a master. Of course! You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Yes, my power grows. Now, <laughs> how quickly you can 
Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Force <laughs> Again? Quickly now. Well done. Again? Yes, I said again. Yes. Again. I said again. You learn quickly. Yes, I do. You train slowly. <laughs> Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. Of course I do. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Ah, over here. Sorry. <laughs> You all look a bit the same to me. That's, I'm not, uh, not a racist. I just, uh, I think it's the clothing. Can we not execute on this a little bit faster? You will now see how you learn a completely new. Oh, you're still here. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Very good. Ah, yes, here we are. A word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Yes. Yes, I understand. Approach Master Body and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Yes, I feel it coursing through me. <laughs> now we will see how quickly you master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Very well. Master Bori. X! Wolf! Now it's your turn. Interesting. Stand next to me. Master <coughs> Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Very good. Let's see here. Must be prepared. Yes, well, your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. Not to me. I've heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Well... I don't really know how I do it. It just, uh, seems to be a part of who I am. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. FALSE! It's up to you to determine how best to use it. True! You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Very good. Sky above, voice within. 
Ah! The Horn of Jürgen Windcaller. Why am I being sent here again? After demonstrating my ability to learn words of power and to shout, the Greybeard on gear has sent me on a final trial, retrieving the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller from his tomb in Ustengrav, a burial mound in the marshes of Hjalmarch. Very well. I am more than equal to this task. But it's a task we'll have to take on next time. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. For more chat about geek entertainment, answers to your questions, and news from the wider world of Christian geekery, get the Christian Geek Central podcast today on iTunes and other podcast services.